As a kid, once I had seen every Star Wars film, Return of the Jedi became my favorite. Favorite. To this day, the climactic battle is, is my favorite ending to a Star Wars film. However, as my appreciation for filmmaking and video production has grown, and, and just general storytelling, The Empire Strikes Back is now my all-time favorite Star Wars film. In fact, it may be my all-time favorite film. Period. And that's what we are talking about today. Welcome back everyone to my channel. This is TK422, The Optimist at Stormtrooper. If you are new to the channel, I have hundreds of videos, all from the perspective of an Imperial Stormtrooper. Check out my Star Wars dad joke videos. Those are some of the most popular. If you enjoy this content, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell to see future videos. It used to be that I could rate the Star Wars films just by the episode number. One was my least favorite, then two all the way up to my favorite one, episode six. As I've gotten older, that order has changed somewhat. I've also also discovered it greatly depends on my mood. For instance, I think Revenge of the Sith is a better made film and story than Attack of the Clones, but it's a heavier film. If I want something a little more lighthearted, I'm gonna plop in Attack of the Clones. Wow. Wow, I said that like I was... I was watching it on VHS or something. Uh, for those of you who don't know what that is, pretend I said DVD. For those of you who don't know what, what that is, let's move on. The Empire Strikes Back is, in my opinion, the best made film of the saga, and, and one of my favorites to watch as well. I, I will not say that my second favorite from a filmmaking perspective is The Last Jedi, because I'm not here to start fights. I'm here to talk about my love for The Empire Strikes Back, so I will definitely not admit to that, because <laughs> that would be ridiculous. And a number of people just left the video. All right, well, for those of you still watching, let's talk about The Empire Strikes Back. In my earlier videos, I talk about how I watched A New Hope, The Phantom Menace, and Attack of the Clones before watching The Empire Strikes Back. Now, I already knew the big Empire spoiler with Vader because my sister kindly explained everything to me before I ever saw the film. That sister and I haven't spoken to each other in over let's see, uh, a week, probably. I should, I should call her, see how she's doing. She also explained the Luke and Leia connection to me at that time as well. If you're watching this, sister, which I know you are, do not tell my kids, please. I didn't tell your kids. I should have. I should have gotten my revenge, but I, I didn't because because I care about the sanctity of Star Wars. Okay, uh, one of my one of my other sisters uh, owned the original trilogy on VHS. My, my parents did not own it, so uh, I think we had episodes one and two on DVD. But to watch the originals, I had to go to my eldest sister's house. Uh, she and her husband showed me episodes five and six. It was so fun to watch it with them. All of Han Solo's funny quips and lines making us laugh. This film is so iconic. Even after studying cinematography and film, Empire Strikes Back holds up probably better than any of the original films. I feel like I learn something new about film every time I watch it. It's a masterclass and a masterpiece. I love how bold and daring the film is as a sequel. Tonally speaking, it's very different from the first film. I love that it wasn't trying to be Star Wars. Star Wars wasn't a genre back then. This was a continuation of an epic adventure. The director himself said this isn't a sci-fi. And it's not. It's a, it's a fantasy. The background environment just happens to be space. Or as Lucas calls it, it's a space opera. One thing I love about The Empire Strikes Back is its romanticism, its spirituality. Yoda teaching Luke, the backdrop of Cloud City, the epic scale of the battle on Hoth, the way the characters are pushed to their limits, the ending duel, which is miles above the duel from the previous film. This film is still awe-inspiring today. Obviously, Star Wars fans get the reputation of being nerdy, and I am certainly not helping when it comes to adding to that reputation. And it's true, many of us fans can name characters who only appear on screen for a fraction of a second, and we know all these useless facts, which, which I'm proud of. But in essence, the film itself, there's nothing nerdy about it. It's cool. It's a film for everyone. It tells the hero's journey. There truly is something in there for everyone, and I think that's just as applicable now as when it came out. Star Wars goes in waves. During the prequels, Star Wars became cool again. After the prequels, it was a little nerdy to like Star Wars. Then when the sequels came out, and say what you will about those, but it became cool again to like Star Wars. Although I have to say, I relate to that Andor quote that's been turned into a meme. Suddenly Star Wars is real for you. I've been in this battle since I was six years old. I love that every fan has something to love from Star Wars and, and something to hate. I love that every fan has a character they love or a way Star Wars connects with them personally. Yes, I'm a nerd, but I'm proud of it. There's so much more I could go into about this film, uh, but I want to tell two quick stories. Back during COVID, movie theaters weren't getting as many people attending the theater. I wonder why. In an attempt to continue making money, many theaters re-released older films. Now, if you remember in my The Phantom Menace video, I talked about going to the re-release of the film in 3D with one of my best friends from high school. Well, at this point in time during COVID, we were both married and, and living out of the state we grew up in. I should clarify, we weren't married to each other. We were, we were both married 
to, to, to very lovely wives. But we were living in the same state um, at this point and, and probably an hour away from each other. One of the films that was being re-released was a movie I had never seen in the movie theater, but one I dearly loved. That's right, you guessed it, The Empire Strikes Back. He and I met up and went to it together. It was awesome. That was the only film I saw that year. Uh, and I, I just went once and I, it was Empire Strikes Back. On another occasion, and this was actually probably before COVID, not sure why I'm telling these out of order, but <laughs> here we go. Uh, my wife surprised me with tickets to the Empire Strikes Back in concert. Now down the street was a big Comic-Con happening at the same time. And we were almost late to the concert because of traffic due to cosplayers crossing the street. It was it was fun to see everyone dressed up though. That was, that was pretty cool. But uh, we got to the concert with just minutes to spare, found our seats and two men came onto the stage. And one of them was stretching out his hands as if he was zapping the audience. I shouted to my wife, it's the Emperor! It was literally Ian McDermott. Once he got to the front of the stage and grabbed the mic, I, I, I then paid more attention to the tall guy next to him. No way, I said. It's the Emperor and Darth Vader. It was Hayden Christensen. I couldn't believe I was in the same room as them. Granted, I was many, 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 many meters away. I was near the back of the hall, but still, what an experience. I'm grateful my wife bought those tickets. She's the best. Apparently, they were at the convention and heard about the concert and wanted to say hello and thank everyone for supporting the Empire. What a memory. Empire is the key word on this video. I love this film, and I love that I get to join the 501st Legion in dressing up. If you enjoyed this, please consider hitting that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. It helps support this content and my channel. I would also love to hear what The Empire Strikes Back means to you. Feel free to leave a comment. Who is your favorite character from Episode 5? Besides the Stormtrooper, of course. Thanks for watching. Long live the Empire.